As Russia makes some gains in the eastern part of the country, President Biden has authorized delivery of a new rocket system to Ukraine. Senior foreign correspondent Ian Pannell is on the scene. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, George. It's pretty incredible, actually, when you come to the capital, uh, Kyiv. Remembering what it was like on those first days of the war, these streets were totally empty. There were checkpoints everywhere, the atmosphere was tense, and there was a real sense of fear that perhaps the Russians could march in and take over the capital and the country. Today, of course, the fighting is focused in the east, in the Donbass, which we keep talking about. This, as America and others now ramp up their military support for Ukraine. Overnight, the U.S. committing to provide Ukraine with advanced weapon systems in their fight against the Russian invasion. Among the new weapons, the Biden administration will send HIMARS, a mobile artillery rocket system capable of traveling around 48 miles. Just last week, Russia's foreign minister warned the U.S. that providing Ukraine with these type of weapons is an unacceptable escalation because they could hypothetically be used to strike Russia. President Biden writing in a guest essay for The New York Times, we're not encouraging or enabling Ukraine to strike beyond its borders. We don't want to prolong the war just to inflict pain on Russia. The military supplies crucial to Ukraine as Russia takes more ground in the east. Ukrainian forces desperately trying to hold on to the strategic city of Sevyadonetsk, but local officials now saying that most of the city is under Russian control. This video posted by Russian state media shows Russian forces inside the city. Now, as many as 13,000 civilians are thought to be trapped there. Evacuation attempts have been stalled because of the shelling. And as Moscow looks to take control of the Donbass, Russian forces bombarding towns, villages and cities across the region. We go inside the trenches in the Donbass with Ukrainian forces as they prepare to defend their homeland. The Russians now are only a few miles away from this position. As you can see, they've dug into their trenches here. We're hearing the sound of artillery outgoing. This area is coming under increasing fire. As the fighting in the east intensifies, crowds of civilians forced to flee. Just outside of Kharkiv, buses taking civilians to safety away from the front lines. Well, I think we now keep a very close eye on Russia's response to President Biden's announcements of these weapons. Moscow has been saber-rattling for some time. It hasn't followed through on its threats. But, of course, there is always a real risk and danger here that things could escalate further. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.